subscribers of my channel. My name is Sergey Molin, and since 2018 I've been actively engaged in digital wall painting. What's interesting, wall printing was initially my hobby, but over time it grew into a source of stable income. I created this channel for the purpose of communicating with my audience, and I am pleased to see our communication expanding with each of you. Showing my experience and work done, I am found by customers, offering interesting, challenging projects in Europe. I expand and find new friends and acquaintances, and this exchange of experience allows me to relentlessly move forward and develop. The main purpose of my channel is to share my rich experience of developing my wall printing business and everything related to it. This video is specifically aimed at English-speaking entrepreneurs. Although I have a lot of useful information on my channel, in Russian, I realize that for you it is not always available. This is especially true for those who are looking for new directions in their business. If you are looking to change your business, or vice versa, move from a salaried job to running your own business, you will find valuable ideas and advice here. My expertise is based on over 20 years of experience with decorative wall finishes. My first introduction to this field began with the production of photo wallpaper. Over time I have developed and established the production of murals. Murals are thin layer decorative plaster applied on a fleece base for wallpaper with customized prints and designs. The process is similar to hand painting walls and mastering it required an understanding of construction chemistry, working with machinery and equipment. Along the way, I gained experience with UV printers, large format, professional roll-to-roll -roll printing devices. For me, buying a wall printer was nothing new. After all, I had previously used similar equipment to create murals and wallpaper. The only difference is that a wall printer is positioned vertically and requires minor technical modifications. I want to share the story of a dialogue with an entrepreneur, who from scratch purchased a wall printer and managed to earn a million. Million Tenge. Sounds fascinating, doesn't it? I'll let you in on a secret, it was Kazakh money. Nevertheless, he paid off his first project by investing in a printer. There are positives and negatives to this story. The positives are on the surface. And what's between the lines? Try to guess for yourself. Listen and draw conclusions. This story is meant to broaden your horizons. Perhaps it will help someone to gain new ideas and directions. And now a special offer for those who are used to acting quickly and not spending months exploring new niches. Soon I plan to record a video consultation in English on how to start and successfully develop a wall printing business. Subscribe to my channel, click on the bell and don't miss the releases. If you find this video useful, put a plus in the comments. Now the dialogue itself. I understand this topic, to be honest. It's on this topic that people can earn, but I don't know what I want. Many people need you to give them a solution like this. And my clients called me straight and said, in short, I need to be there. I took this for a square to deal with the printer. You correctly noted that it is necessary to leave your job, to fully engage purely only in this. Because according to the time someone has a printer, if someone gives the printer to it is not the case. They can just kill him there. Even if the employees are hired, it will be the same. It turns out I worked out. I had about three schools. Yes, I have worked three or four schools. In principle, I worked well. I only worked on it, I only worked for two months. That is, two months is. Yes, that is. That is, I had it like that. Let's say I took one school, in it I put four drawings of eight squares on different walls. Then they gave me a second school, two, it also turns out three drawings of eight squares. Then another school came to me, and she also told me we need to make three drawings. I've had about eight or seven squares of these drawings. And I worked at these schools, well, literally in about two months during the period like this. That is, I take one school, at most I'm there for three or four days. The second school is three or four days. Then I'm like this. And I say in summary, it's not like every day there is a run-up, a run-up, but like this. And it worked as if normally. But then, I say, it turned out that it didn't work. Now you can continue doing this now. I even got it, I even got it, orders, but I couldn't work them out.
And the last time I worked with the head, it turns out, and I slightly damaged the head along the way. The printer's head itself. I have one printing head. It seems, if I'm not mistaken, there goes. Just a second, just a second, I'll tell you. Ah, uh, Epson, yes, yes, yes. No, I'll tell you now, I'll tell you now I'm just opening this one. Wait a second, wait a second. Yes, I have the 7th X. 1 head to X, 7. Yes, I get a printer with a third 1D X7. That is, if you look like that, the LN print is coming from me. Yes. No, it turns out I took it. At first I wanted to take it in Russia, but I didn't find it. I didn't find it in Russia, I couldn't find representatives for some reason at that time via the internet, I went through everything. It was LN Prin that I liked the fact that his build quality is good and he is so solid all over. And then it turns out I started to go to China. I have guys in China who are engaged. They found the name of the manufacturer and it turns out they found and at the same moment I find in Kazakhstan who is our distributor here. Who exactly was the distributor? And it turns out that I am negotiating with both Kazakhstan and China. And in China they give me an answer and speak, that is, in broken Russian. From there they send me audio messages and say, we cannot sell it to you, since we already have a distributor in Kazakhstan, contact such and such a company and call me a Tefirma, with whom I am already talking. Yes, and it turns out I ordered from them. I ordered this printer from them. It cost me at that time. I will now say 4 million in Tenge. 4 million 500,000 cost me with delivery. 4 and a half million should be divided by. Well, then I don't remember what the exchange rate was, if in rubles, but it was in dollars. So now I'll tell you how much in dollars. 80. Yes, 380 was the course then. Now our course has jumped at all, and then it was about $12,000. I just think, maybe now it's true I'm there, let's say I just looked at this head myself, if you take it, it's now somewhere in the range of a thousand dollars. If I look, yes, here I look at our exchange rate of about a thousand dollars, it costs approximately. I'm just thinking, how would I have called that time and asked if I could order it? They say to me, yes, of course, we will deliver it to you without any problems, pay for it, we will allow such and such deadlines there. And in China, you can order it, someone can order it himself. I think maybe I was just offered, for example, now, if there is a willing person, he can buy this device. He can just tell me you give me a discount, let's say on this head. Even if it's not a thousand dollars, you give me a discount of two thousand dollars. I'll order it myself, I'll deliver it myself. I'm basically there. I watched it. I was already with my brother, we sorted it out, watched it. It just turns out, damn, my mistake was. There it is necessary, it turns out, to pump it out exactly on. On the switched off device. We didn't turn it off, damn it, and apparently we started. And they're inside, I understand. But maybe even the brother just understands, but he says, in my opinion, he says, we slightly damaged it. Most likely, he says, there is a thin membrane inside the printing head, he says. It seems a little bit, the mesh seems to have moved a little, because, he says, when we start pumping from the other side, not pumping, but washing from the other side. This is the washing liquid, it previously came out through these small, small holes, but there are special ones there. And here it comes out at the edges. And he says, it seems we have slightly damaged it. Probably not damaged. It's just that I'm taking our specialists here now, asking them and they somehow. They say, well, we have print heads there, they are not vertical, but horizontal, right? That is, to print these banners there, that's all. Well, then armless on purpose. But crooked means yes. And I'm just. And how would I think so, 
I think maybe I really should now offer it at a discount to someone. I saw that you even have something in your family there, but he has a different printer. In comparison with the printer that I have, they are a little, not a little different at times. I called, let's say we have a representative office in Kazakhstan now. There is also a representative office in Astana, which is also obtained by steel distributors. By the way, the one that my distributor was, he moved away. Well, in general, I understood this on this topic, to be honest, it's on this topic that people can earn those, that's right, you said the one who is sitting in the design, the one who has all this imagination works for him right away. So he came to his client and said, but I don't know, that's how it was for me. For example, we have a school. There is a school, let's say, a general education, yes, there is a school, let's say there, for example, I say a special specialized Kazakh school there, let's say. And here he is, he says to me, but I don't know what I want. Give me a suggestion here. And there is no, yes, yes, sell me your offer, tell me there are a lot of offers for me to do. And I say to him, listen, you give me a sketch. What sketch will you give me, he will draw a picture of you there, at least take a picture of you with the president, I say. There, I say, if you want there, I do not know whether I am Tukhiv or Nazarbayev there, I tell you, I say, draw, I say, full length, I say. I don't care, I say. But many people need this so that you give them a solution, but for this you must have some graphic skills, just so that you throw it all there, yes, in Photoshop. Then yes, cool, then yes, then cool. And in my case, I took it and now I had clients, it was just that I had a little problem with my head this month. And my clients called me straight and said, in short, I need to paint the whole children's camp there. And another says, I want a shopping mall. Another says, I need a big picture. I took 20,000 tenge per square. This is in dollars, if I count now at today's exchange rate. So in dollars, this is 20,000 tenge, I divide by $44 per square I took. It's just, it's just this too, this too, this is also such an energy intensive job in time. It kind of seems like yes, so it's fast. And he was supposed to be anyway anyway, I even recognized two heads. It will print an hour square anyway. And I, in my case, have about 20 hours there. He's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit slower, well, an hour and 20. And again, there it is necessary to choose according to the drawing what density there is, what kind of leaders you will be there, not leaders there, what format you will be, accuracy there are all these parameters to set. You are already when you fill your hand, you can, I do not know, some simple drawing is not so detailed, you do not need detailing. You can quickly print it there. And I did all this at school and how would they agree? Not a question at all. I say, it turns out that this month I earned, well, roughly I say, I earned almost a million tenge there. Yes, a million tenge, again, if you divide the dollar, what does it turn out? This is divided by 448. I earned $2,300 somewhere. $2,300. No, you can work. Well, it's just that now I have a managerial position at my company, now it turns out that a window has opened and my founders and shareholders have told me, well, how would you work, you will be here. And now I'm kind of doing that, I think I probably will. And now he's standing at my place. And I feel sorry for him standing at my place. And I think, damn, well, maybe someone will work. And people call me and ask, well, what are you going to do? I am now the city of Semipolotinsk, Semei. You won't believe it, it's just a matter of chance. I took the device while I was dealing with it, so for myself. I'm talking like this on the quiet, on the quiet I figured it out. Here it turns out that I turn to one, to one designer, I see that they turn out to be making banners. I need to make a banner for work. I'm ordering a banner from this girl. I talk to her and immediately say step by step, listen, and you can be a designer, if something happens, let me tell you, throw it there, for example, I need a design of such and such, to do such and such, I have such and such equipment, I can make drawings. She says, well, let's think about it. Then he refuses me and says, here I have such a girlfriend, her name is there, for example, Zanara. She can make you. And it turns out that her husband works there just at the construction site in these schools. She tells him all this. He says, and it turns out that we need to do this. And went went went. Then I started, I just started going to schools and saying, listen, I can do this. Schools look, they say, damn, cool, we like it. Budget money, in fact. 
There, the budget is allocated for all this. Public money. All right, go ahead, let's go, let's go. As a result, two or three schools were waiting for me. But I couldn't do it to them again because I'm at work and so on the one hand it's a shame, you think damn there are orders, but I can't do them now because I myself. Yes, but but it doesn't seem to work out in time. And now I thought about something and sat down and my wife also says to me, listen, you either do it yourself or you have to do something, well, as it were. I say, listen, I'm probably going to try to put it on sale now. I'll give you a discount. Well, let people be someone, someone can be someone, even if not here, here you are in the same place, someone is interested in there with others. Yes, someone may be interested in this, someone may get acquainted with it. There is even more there is such a program called Print Help. Access to it. 